It's the 80,000 pound shipment that contains hope for some frightened parents amid the ongoing baby sh formula shortage. This shipment provides enough formula uh, to take care of 9,000 babies and 18,000 toddlers uh, for a week. But that formula isn't going to store shelves, making many parents even more nervous about what to do next. The AG secretary for the country, Tom Vilsack, says a second round of formula is expected later this week. And the head of the USDA says he expects the crisis will ease within the next 30 days. As WHS 11's Rachel Droge shows us, until there is enough formula, there are many upsetting concerned parents. One of the main jobs a parent has is to keep their child fed. Right now, with the ongoing formula shortage, that's getting harder to do. It's life or death. You either, you either eat and you have food for your baby or you don't. Ashley May's daughter, Evelyn, just turned one. Evelyn was born premature and for most of her life ate specialty formula for babies with sensitive stomachs. Because of the formula shortage, Evelyn has been on five different formulas in the last four months. This last time we just went out and we cannot find any sensitive, any gentle ease anywhere. I did get the Similac and it's just a regular Similac advance, I think. Um, and that kind of calls your stomach problems. May is trying to transition Evelyn to cow's whole milk, something typically done when babies turn one. But she's not quite ready yet because she was born early, meaning May still has to spend hours driving around, searching store shelves to see if they have anything in stock. Not only is it stressful on me, but it's stressful on her because the change of the different formulas, it just upsets her stomach. And when she does so good on one formula, and that's, that's the one that you can't find. May gets WIC benefits, which help low-income families cover the cost of formula. But recently, May says she's had to pay out of pocket because she can't find the brands covered by the program. About half of all babies born in the U.S. qualify for WIC. Kentucky has made some temporary changes to the WIC program, allowing parents to use their benefits to get any formula brand. But you have to call the WIC appointment line to get your package switched. Mom can get any brand of formula in this can size. And we've also been able to offer larger can sizes to accommodate as well, which is unheard of in WIC history. If you can't find any formula, doctors say it could be safe to feed them cow's whole milk for a very short period of time. But only if your baby's over six months old and healthy, and only for a few days at most, because switching babies long term too soon can lead to anemia and other health problems. Be sure to reach out to your pediatrician before making any major changes to your baby's diet. Reporting in the newsroom, Rachel Droz, WHAS 11, on your side.